I would like to welcome these subscribers on the DBTR Debunking the Right channel. If you'd like to become a subscriber so you can be notified of all of DBTR's newest videos, please hit the red subscribe button, the notification bell, and select all. Let me read you this eloquent introduction. Vosh, on Labor Day of last year, in a disturbed, Spock-like voice, destroyed Stephen Crowder's confusion between workers and owners in a socialist Marxist society and exposed the purpose behind his capitalist bootlicking agenda. A little bit weird, right? <laughs> also, notice that I said manual laborers and not working class. Because the idea that someone who owns that factory, or today someone who owns a business or happens to be an independent contractor, is not working is absurd, insulting, and ironically, any intellectual. Think about it. The only difference between a lawyer, a doctor, an investor, or independent business owner, and the working class, as is the current nomenclature. Um, lawyers, doctors, these people are working class. Um, I don't know what bastardized, like, handbook he's taken from here. I assume that, as is often the case, he is making up his own definitions. I know he's pretty fond of doing that. Um, here is the non clementure as used by lefties. I'm a lefty, for example. If you make your money by providing a service or producing a widget of some kind, if you build, if you do something, if you work, if that's how you make your money, you're a worker. And if you make your money by owning something, if you make your money from the proceeds or revenue that is provided to you, by people who work under you. That is to say, if you own a business and it's through their labor that you make money, that makes you an owner, not a worker. Of course you still work if you're a business owner. That does not necessarily mean you are a worker as the term is commonly used. This is ridiculous. This would be saying like actually everyone is a doctor as long as they have taken CPR because what a doctor does is heal people and CPR helps you heal people. So therefore it is ridiculous and anti-intellectual to say that there is not a little bit of a doctor in each of us. It's a uh, misuse of the term. In this case, probably a deliberate one because he is lying to you to sell a particular agenda to benefit a particular group of people. That the former simply work with their minds instead of their bodies. Does that mean that their work is any less valuable? No. I thought the left had the corner on intelligentsia. Literally no one has said that these people aren't workers. Or does that only apply to modern humanities majors who posit theories and philosophies that needn't yield results in the real world? But hey, that just mirrors Marxism to a T, after all. It's just more straw men. He's arguing against a definition no one has ever used and does not exist. Oh, what gives the working class or proletariats the rights to have the government violently seize businesses and means of production from others outside of the fact that the very cerebral work required to create it in the first place is simply not valued in a communist society? I have no idea what he's talking about here. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm lost. I have, I have legitimately no idea what he's... He... It, it feels like he feels like he's positing some cohesive argument against the concept of socialism, but he's thrown together so many terms, like I legitimately don't understand what point he's trying to make. I, well, I can tell, actually, I can tell you what point he's trying to make. It's not an argument, but it is, you know, uh, I think a, a feeling he's trying to evoke in the audience. The feeling that he's trying to evoke in the audience is that anyone who believes there is something wrong with the way the economy functions today, anyone who believes it's wrong that a person can work 40 hours a week and still not be able to pay for their family's, you know, needs, anyone who thinks it's wrong that your um, wages relative to productivity are plummeting while owners' wages relative to productivity are skyrocketing, anyone who thinks it's wrong that the gig economy means there is a growing number of people who can't even rely on steady work to keep themselves alive, all of these people are just lazy, ephemeral socialists who want the government to take over all industry and fix everything and... What Steven Crowder has forgotten, or at least what he's been paid to forget, is that there are hundreds of millions of people in this country whose lives are affected and made worse by the existence of a growing inequality. How you choose to address that inequality is, well, many theories abound, but that's a problem that exists. There's one group of people, exactly one, who benefits from the working class believing that there is not a problem in this regard. And those are the same groups of people who cut Crowder a check. If you enjoyed this video and support progressives like the Young Turks, Secular Talk, David Pacman, Bosch, please visit the Debunk the Right channel where there are over 75 videos which debunk right-wing nonsense from the likes of Officer Tatum, Ben Shapiro, Candace Owens, and the loudmouth of Crowder, Stephen Crowder. You can access this channel by either hitting the channel icon below this vid or clicking the link in the pinned comment in the comments section.